Hello everyone, this is Wade from High Tech Legion here, and in this video I'm going to be giving you an overview and giving you a quick tutorial on the Click BIOS 4 for the A88X G45 gaming motherboard from MSI. So it is in their gaming motherboard series, so you'll notice that it has a black or a gray and red theme um, to the BIOS, and in typical MSI fashion we have our OCG button here at the top as long well as a heads up display here with a lot of information with the model of the motherboard the temperature for our CPU and motherboard as well as our system time date the version of our BIOS we've got the chip that is installed our CPU frequency DRAM frequency and the memory size and also the boot device priority right at the top here you have F12 here which will allow you to take a screenshot to a USB and your language button here to change the language uh, that the BIOS is being displayed in as well as an X to close the BIOS and restart the system. We have our board explorer down in the bottom right corner here which is really cool because you can scroll over the uh, different parts of the BIOS and it will tell you what is plugged in. Definitely uh, pretty awesome to know which ports are being used on your motherboard if you're not sure which hard drive to pull for example um, which SATA port your the hard drive you want to pull is plugged into and so that's pretty cool gives you all this heads up information on the uh, devices that are plugged in. So we can close that. Hardware monitor. Hardware monitoring mode gives you a graph, a way of setting the fan control, fan curve, and everything. And you also can pick which system, uh, what you want the target temperature to be for each of these systems. And it gives you a quick heads up on the voltage for the CPU core, Northbridge, DRAM, system 3.3, system 5, and system 12 volt here um, right in the motherboard. As well as current information about the CPU and system temperatures and the fan speeds that uh, your fans are running at. You also have a about here and a help button uh, to give you some more information if you need it. OC profiles. You have six overclocking profiles that you can save in the BIOS and you can save them or load them from a USB. So if you're doing a BIOS update, usually you want to save the uh, OC profiles to a USB drive. That way you can load them back in very easily if they get lost. MFlash allows you to save the BIOS to storage as a backup and also update the BIOS from a USB flash drive and under the OC tab you have all of your overclocking settings all on one page for your CPU base frequency your CPU ratio which you just use the plus and minus keys on your keyboard to set there is no drop down box on the CPU ratio anything that doesn't have the little uh, brackets around it you need to use the plus and minus keys for. You have your north bridge ratio, your OC Genie function whether it's the onboard button or whether it's from within the BIOS, CPU core controls to turn off and set what type of uh, how you want your processor to run. If you wanted to turn off some of the cores for some type of application and you have AMD Turbo Core technology, the Turbo Core ratio your GPU engine frequency and voltage, your DRAM frequency, which you can set up to DDR3-2400, your Intel Extreme Memory Profile, and your AMD Memory Profile. DRAM timing, you can link or unlink them, and you also have control of your CPU voltage CPU Northbridge voltage, DRAM voltage, CPU PLL voltage, 
CPU VDD voltage FCH 1.1 version voltage and your memory VREF CA along with many other uh, voltages here and whether or not the CPU me or memory change detection is enabled so if you change the CPU or the memory in the system it'll give you an error when the BIOS pops up. How many times that it will retry an overclock before failing the overclock and automatically going back to um, defaults which it is set to one by default you have your CPU specifications and CPU technology support any of these screens you can press escape to go back to the previous screen just so you know and memory Z which gives you uh, information on the specific DIMM in each slot same thing you can do escape to go back to the previous menu DIMM 4 is going to show you the same because it's a matched stick in this case CPU features so under CPU features you can enable or disable the AMD cool and quiet SVM mode core C6 state and power pol and, and set the power policy mode Under our settings tab, we have our save and exit, our security information, which allows you to set an administrator password or set up a USB key to be able to access the system, as well as set the chassis and choosing configuration feature, uh, whether that's enabled or not on the system. Under boot, you have settings for whether you get the full screen logo, the boot mode that it's set to and the boot order as well um, the under hard disk drive and UEFI hard disk drive VBS priorities that's where you set the, the uh, you can set the boot options the way you want them we are using UEFI boot here so that's where we have our settings for the Windows boot manager since we have Windows 8.1 installed you also have under advanced our wake up event setup Windows 8 and 8.1 specific configurations for fast booting if you do enable those you will have a very hard time getting into the BIOS if you wanted to uh, make any changes power management setup super IO configuration for the COM port if you are using that USB configuration whether the USB controller is enabled as well as the USB 3.0 controller also happens to tell you which, what types of devices you have plugged in in the BIOS integrated graphics what uh, which graphics device it initiates first um, usually this is set to IGD which is the integrated graphics on the chip and if you wanted it to use the uh, PCI Express graphics first, then you can set that to PEG for that. And also whether it initiates, uh, how it initiates the graphics devices. Leaving this at auto works fine because we did test this in dual graphics and um, it automatically switched to the dual graphics mode without a problem. Integrated peripherals. So here you can enable or disable the onboard LAN control change some settings for the LAN option ROM and network stack as well as change the SATA mode and whether hot plug ability is enabled for the SATA port, each SATA port. SATA mode does default to AHCI which is good considering most OS's support that at this point. You also have your audio configuration and your HPET configuration here, or high precision, precision event timers. ACPI settings whether the power LED is blinking or dual color and you have your PCI subsystem or latency timer here that's a quick overview and tutorial of where settings are in the A88X G45 gaming motherboard BIOS and I hope you enjoyed this video 
And for the full review, please see www.hightechlegion.com. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter. Also, don't forget to check out the overview video for the motherboard itself. Take care.